Are you wondering if Lightworks can handle text effects like Adobe After Effects or DaVinci Resolve? Well, kinda. Let's have a go. Now, one of those things that makes a video stand out, apart from good quality content, obviously, are good labels and good text on the screen. Really lift a bland video into something a little bit more special. Now, Lightworks doesn't come with a huge amount of effects that we can use in text, especially. Let's see what's available right now, and then let's take it to the next level with something a bit more special. First thing we want to do is just zoom into our timeline. I'm going to grab this second clip over here because it's a slow moving clip, and I think it lends itself well to some text on the screen. So let's mark in an in using I on our keyboard. Just play a few seconds like this and mark an out. It's really important that we have an in and out because we want our effects, especially our text effects, not to take up the entire clip. So what we'll do is just have a really quick look at the three effects that are available at the top. We have a crawl. Now, when you put in a crawl, it will put in a crawling text on the lower third. Simple, not very effective for most things, but it's there. We've got a roll, which is your end credits. That's a roll up again. Very useful if you need end credits, not so useful if you're labeling something on the screen. And then finally, we have our basic text, which is just on the screen. We'll have a look at that in a second in slightly more detail. Apart from that, we have a number of other text effects, but you'll find that most of them are static and quite boring. Some of them let you put logos in, which is really useful, but for the most part, they're quite boring, quite bland, and if I do say so myself, quite outdated with gradients and colors that they choose. So let's at least have a look at what you can achieve with a simple text effect like this. Let's put in some deep and meaningful text on the screen like that. Let's go to my latest obsession, which is Avenir Next. I think it's a great font. Let's make that bold and let's size that up again. Pretty cool. Like it. It's white. It fits. It looks good, but it comes on the screen and it goes off the screen. Let's do something a little bit more exciting with that. Let's go to the effects and put in a fade effect and a fade out effect. So that's in and an out comes in. Now that looks pretty cool. Actually, if I was labeling this particular scene over here, I would just leave it at that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's pretty cool. You can mess around with how long it takes to fade in and fade out. You can take that really ridiculously long so that it looks like that. Again, that's got its place depending on what you're showing and what you're writing on the screen. That works as well. Let's have a look at the typewriter effect. That could work as well. It uh, has its place, I suppose. Let's go to the effects and put a fade out on that one of one second. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. So if that's what your intention was to get some text on the screen, keep it on the screen and then have it fade off. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Now let's do something I think that raises the bar a little bit. Let's delete that. We'll use the same in and out, but for now, we're going to jump over to the mat and grab a simple 2D shape. Let's throw that in our segment there. Let's, for goodness sakes, take that softness off because I have no idea what Lightworks is thinking with that. We've got our width, our height, our positions and our color. Let's go to our color. For this particular example, I think I want it in black. Let's do that and let's add a bit of transparency just for good measure. Now, rather than going through sliders, much easier if you just go to the corner of your shape and drag it and make it as big and small as you want. Now, for this particular effect I want, it's kind of like that mad tech intro that I do where a box appears, text appears inside it, and then the box disappears. Obviously, we can't really do that text falling down from the sky in Lightworks. It's not really designed for that. But at this moment, we're going to have a box that comes in. So let's go to the first frame. A and S on your keyboard let you jump from the start and end of clips like that. So A to the start. And what we'll do is 
basically have this box appear out of nothing and then disappear into nothing. For this, I'm going to need to count in, let's go for seven frames, that's snappy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see my computer's lagging just a little bit, that's all right. Let's put in the width keyframe there. You can see it's jumped in. So at its full width, it's going to be 113%. That's cool with me. Now let's rewind it to the start frame there. That's using A. And let's pull that box down to zero. Let's go to the end frame, rewind seven frames. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we need to press the keyframe with a plus sign over here. Take it to the last frame, S, and one frame back. And let's pull that width down to zero again. So what we have now is an animated shape comes in, stays on the screen, a little bit too long, but I hope you'll forgive me for that. And there we have our box coming in and our box going out. Now, what we want to do is have our text appearing when the box is at full width. So let's just pull the time line to where the box is at its full. That's there. I'm going to take that in marker and move it to where the red marker is. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here just before the shape starts to reduce in width. It's about there. And I'm going to pull in the out marker back there. So now I have a different in and out for the text we're about to put on. So let's go to text, pick it up and put it on there. You'll see that it makes a new FX layer because it's now going to treat the text as a separate effect. Let's make the font you know what's coming up next, guys. Avenir next, bold. Let's make the size fairly big. And white worked previously, but it doesn't work now. So let's take the color picker and let's be brave. Let's go for a pink. Doesn't that look good, guys? Let's have a look. The text is going to come in, disappear as the box goes out. Let's do that again. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And there we go. What we can do just to take it to the next level is why don't we put in a fade of, let's go for a quarter of a second fade. Let's see how that looks. So that it doesn't just look like it appears out of nowhere. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And then a fade out and then it goes out. Now I think guys on its own, that's a pretty good way of introducing text onto the screen with the collapsing box. And I'd be happy to put that on my own videos. I'll, I'll say that out there right now. That's a pretty good effect. I think that looks pretty special. Okay, let's do a different version of that where we're going to have the text flying in again with a box. Now, why a box? You don't have to have a box. Let's, let's be honest about that. You don't have to have a box on the screen. It just sometimes, especially when you've got a really busy video, it's nice to single out the text on the screen and make it look a bit more special. Let's mark in an in in our first clip. Just play a few seconds about there and mark it out. Let's just zoom into that region there. We've got the two FX layers. Let's leave them alone. Let's not mess around with them. Again, let's go to matte 2D shape and throw in a 2D shape there. Take the softness off. Let's make that roughly about yay big and position it down here. It's going to be a lower third and it's going to be a flying in box. So what we'll do is really simple. Oh, before we do that, let's change the color because that looks quite ugly. What color should we choose? I don't think we should go dark. I think we should go possibly to the blue. No, that's too bright. Let's go for a more muted color. Oh, that looks pretty good. And let's make it a little bit transparent. Course. Now, I use transparency a lot when I've got elements on the screen. It's something about not disconnecting the viewer from the background. Let's click on plus, go to text and throw in a title. This time we're going to throw it right onto that simple 2D shape. And you'll see that it now becomes part of FX2. It's part of the same effect, if, if you will. Let's put something pretentious in again. Let's go for the face, excuse me, the font. 
you know what font's coming up next, guys. It has to be Avenir today. Don't know why. It's just an unhealthy obsession I've got. Let's change the color of that to that blue color. So I thought that looked pretty cool the way it blends with the brown as well. Let's pick that up and put it down. Just fit. So I'm just going to take that away for a second. Let's make the size a tad smaller like that. And we will place that there. Not being too exact. I don't really care about alignment right this second. And there we have our text, which is called Behind the Lens. And just like before, it is going to appear and just disappear without any kind of visual clue as to why it's there or where it came from. So let's fix that. Let's go to the first frame. Let's count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames in like that. What we're going to do now, which is really cool, we're going to take the position of the text and the position of the box. We're going to click the keyframe of the stopwatch, which is the keyframe, and have that recorded as the position it goes to. Let's rewind it to the first frame and now have our box and text leaving the screen. Now, I'm not doing this very exactly. So I'm just kind of messing around here and I'm going to leave it there. Now, when this box comes in, it's going to fly in from the left. And I think that looks pretty cool. Great for an incidental piece of text that has to be on the screen and then jump off the screen. Now, to get this off the screen in the same way, we do the same thing. Let's go to the last frame. That's that one there and count in seven. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Again, we are going to add in our keyframe there, making sure the position of the text and the box is recorded. And then we're going to press S on our keyboard, one back, and we are going to now push this box again off the left. Let's have a look at the position and you can see, yep, both have moved. So all in all, this text effect is going to look like this. And like that. And I think that looks pretty cool, guys. I think that looks rather excellent. Let's undo that last step and just investigate what we can do. What we can do if that box doesn't go off the left but goes somewhere else. And why don't we move it to the other side, all the way to the right? Let's have a look. See if that works any better, if that works any worse. Let's have a look. So we're going to have the text coming in and flying out to the right. Now, I prefer the first one where the text flew in from the left and then went out back from where it came. This is really your time to experiment. Have it doing whatever you want to. Have it coming into the screen on one side, having it leaving the screen on the same side, on a different side. It doesn't really matter. It's all about experimentation. So what we've got here, or what we've seen here, is two really good ways of getting text onto the screen, making that text just that much more interesting to look at so that your viewers are left feeling like you've really gone to town on your videos and really tried hard to make it look good. So I think with a bit of imagination, a bit of experimenting, you could do some really cool effects in Lightworks, even though the program wasn't designed to do so. Might be worth mentioning that this video came about due to a suggestion left in the comments of a previous Lightworks video. So if you have questions, criticisms, suggestions, leave them in the comments. I do my best to read them all and try to answer as many as I can. If you have a suggestion, a question, or an idea for a video that I could do in the future, leave that in the comment as well. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next set of videos that are coming up about Lightworks and happy editing to all of you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Think about clicking that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up, and maybe think about hitting the bell notifications if you want to be notified every time a new video comes up.